Okay, let's talk about CSS text shadow. So there's box shadow, which lets you put shadows around rectangular objects. But if you want to put the shadow on the letters themselves, the CSS property you're looking for is text shadow. Very simple the way it works. So this is my H1 element on the page, and I'm going to add some shadow to it. Text shadow is the property. And then there's two uh, property values for dimensions. And the first one is the horizontal, second one is the vertical. So let's say the displacement is going to be two pixels to the right, two pixels down. Third property, there we can see shadow starting to appear. The third property is the uh, blur radius. So how much of a blur we want to have on here? Four pixels, it's going to look like that. 40 pixels, it's going to look like that. So it's much... Uh, a much wider area it's stretched out over the bigger the blur radius becomes 400 you can hardly hardly see it I can hardly see it on my monitor it's coming out uh, quite a ways if we come down to a hundred maybe I can see it a bit more yeah there we go so the blur radius 100 it's just smearing the shadow in all directions you can't really tell where the lights coming from if you do that four pixels that's pretty typical and then the final parameter is the color now the color can be any one of the color properties that you would use in CSS. It can be HSL, HSLA, the RGB, um, hex values, the three digit or the six digit hex values, any one of those, or a named color. So you know, purple, there's my named color. Um, there's a green shadow. And by changing these values, we can shift it. So there's four pixels. Let's do 10 pixels. So you can see now it's really being shifted over to the right and just slightly down. The blur, if we reduce that, it's a little bit sharper. The, so the smaller the blur radius, the sharper the shadow. So the closer it feels to the text itself. Um, you can actually add multiple shadows. All you need to do is put a comma between them. So like all the other CSS properties, if there's spaces between them, it means you're applying all the values. If there's commas between them, then you're doing one or the other. You're picking from a list. But if you've got both, if you've got spaces and commas, then this is multiple sets that you're applying. So my second one here, I'm going to say that I'm going to do a negative 2px, negative 2px, 2px blur, and let's make it red. So it's really, really hideous. Uh, and you can see that the red shadow is above and to the right. If I zoom in here, because of the way I've applied the CSS, I can do this to make my text bigger too. Um, so we've got the green shifted way over, the red shifted up. If I put this back to 2, so 2, 2, 2, negative 2, negative 2, and 2. There we are. So that is a multiple text shadow being applied. Positive negative values for both the horizontal and vertical displacement. Mix and match those. The blur radius has to be at least zero, but it can be any number above that. And then the final value is the color. And if you do something like HSLA, where you're adding the alpha, or RGBA, where you're adding the alpha in as the final property. So 255, 255, zero. So 255 for the red, for the green, zero for the blue and then for the alpha if we said 0 0.8 hsl we'll go for zero for the hue for is red 50 percent 50 percent and 0 0.5 50 percent again there we are so we've got a, a yellow shifted down and over to the right we've got a sort of an orange a faded red up maybe a bit of a pink up and to the left. All right.
And that's it. That's CSS Text Shadow. Hope that helps you out. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And as always, thanks for watching.